What's up, everybody? If you can tell, it's the same day as Flowers, uh, Clutch. I have, uh, if you notice, one of the, well, blah, 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 blah. All right. You notice at the end of the video, I said that there was one extra egg. That is Big Mama. She laid it last night. Well, she, once again, only reason I took that egg is because it was way out in the corner of her tub. And I just went over there and checked her now. Um, this is probably like 2 o'clock the next day. And there's two eggs there. They're, once again, not anywhere. They're randomly everywhere. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take those two eggs, put them in the uh, egg box with her other one. And I guess I'm just going to have to keep an eye on her because she is planting them wherever they go out and she's not even... Yeah, not even caring about them. She just wants them out and gone. So, um, I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing. I mean, I don't want to chance the eggs. Like I said, the egg, one of the eggs is way off in the corner. And, you know, so. All right, hold on, guys. I'll show you. All right, here we go. Like I said, she is not caring where she's laying them. So... I think it's safer in this case I should just pick them up and who these things are fragile wow oh I don't even know how I'm gonna pick this this oh all right you guys I'm gonna have to hold on on this I'm gonna have to put down the camera so all right so far we've got three good ones from her they're definitely monster eggs I don't know if that's another reason why she's having a problem. <laughs> but that one's, like I said, they're very, this one's fresh, fresh. You can tell the difference. They're still pinkish. This one's, this, blah, 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 blah. That one's starting to dry up and turn white. But so far we got three. And there's definitely plenty more. So, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, everybody. Um, we did have a clutch 10. Big Mama did lay. Uh, if you saw that one egg, the next day she laid three eggs. And then she went all day. So, I put her in warm water for about an hour. Um, I put the heating pad underneath it and stuff so it would stay at a temperature. And... Uh, then I put her in her tub that night. I took all the substrate out, cleaned it all up. Um, and she ended up uh, prolapsing. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, the right where the... I don't know exactly what it's called, but the tube where all the eggs are in, that popped out. Um, when the eggs came out, these are definitely monstrous eggs. Uh, I think that was the problem. She is doing good now. Um, everything seems good. I mean, she is definitely devastated after this all. You know, but she's she's definitely devastated after laying 10 eggs. Um, it, I don't wish that on anybody. That was definitely a long three days very nerve-wracking stressful um seeing that uh like i said she i woke up in the morning she had eggs everywhere she was dragging one uh it was stuck in there uh that actually finally came out and then uh you know so far keep my fingers crossed she's good now uh she will no longer be breeding she is now a pet um well, she, they're all pets, but she is pet only. She is never, ever, ever going to breed again. Um, but, yeah, I won't show you the eggs just because they look bad. They got blood on them from when they came out of, from the uh, prolapse there. Um, but, yeah, very nerve-wracking. I think everybody that has helped me with suggestions on things and... All the videos that people have done on it, um, 
I've watched it. I know Kevin McCurley had one. Uh, it's just been a couple of videos. Snake uh, Discovery. So I appreciate everyone that's done videos on those to help people, you know. But she is, so far, she's doing great right now. So keep you guys keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I will keep you updated on her. Um, yeah, I mean, they were just... When I say... At, I might post the picture of the eggs. I you're gonna see them when they I cut them. They are just massive. Um, I bet you the smallest one going back from my weighed the my original clutch. My biggest egg was 124 grams. I mean these ones have got to be at least 150, 160 grams. Excuse me, guys. Uh, 150, 160 grams. They they just monstrous. They uh, overdid, like, overflowed the easy hatch tray. Um, but, yeah, it's not a great clutch. Like I said, you know, everything so far, everything's she's good. Um, so we're going to find out. Hopefully she's, it didn't do anything, too much damage. Um, but, yeah, we uh, do have, uh, what, nine more clutches coming. For guaranteed that's already ovulated um, so yeah we got a whole bunch more hopefully everything else goes smooth she was uh, she was born in 2004 big mama um, I don't know if that I mean I've heard you know people breeding them for a lot longer older snakes and she was uh, she was original I guess an import um, you know back 16 years ago so, but yeah, our next one that's going to lay is Pumpkin, our Cinnamon uh, Enchi Lesser. We put her with uh, Ghost Rider, our Core Glow Clown. So, hopefully that will be the next one. And Big Mama, I put her with uh, Minion, our Banana Woma. I want to see exactly what's going on with him. That was the main reason why I uh, paired him with a normal with Big Mama there, but, um, yeah, so I just figured I'd update you guys, I know it's been days, she's been, she just finished off this morning, um, so it's been a long, you know, two days, the hot water definitely helped, uh, when I put her in there, uh, like I said, I put her in there for about an hour and a half, hour, you know, and it just, I'm guessing it relaxed everything, because that night she laid the rest of her eggs, um, which was great news. Um, I was, I was getting scared and nervous, you know. Um, all these snakes mean a lot to me, you know. These, uh, you know, they're pets, you know. They're a part of our family here, you know. At Camo Constrictors, you know. It's, but now she is going to be here for the rest of her life, you know. She won't go anywhere. But, yeah. So everybody, I know it wasn't a happy-go-lucky, you know, thing. Um, but, I mean, it is good because she's doing good right now. And all ten eggs are in the incubator right now. So I guess it's just a long, stressful one. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Uh, hopefully we'll be, you guys will be seeing us in a couple days with a clutch or a spotlight on some hatchlings. And I'm actually getting ready. I'm going to be going through all these and disinfecting everything. And even though they're brand new, but I want to disinfect them all and get the paper towels in there ready for hatchlings. Because in a couple weeks, we're going to be getting our first hatchlings coming on May 13th. So, I guess that's uh, yeah, just about it. Alright, everybody, have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a good one.